we reported to you yesterday, the new COVID shot should be available any day now, and that is earlier than usual. Does that mean you should get it earlier than usual? Seth Kaplan has the answer to that and other key questions. High hopes for this vaccine because the last one wasn't the most effective. This one is supposed to be more effective. Bethany Miller of Lion Pharmacy in Red Lion, York County. Here, as everywhere, the vaccine will arrive any day now. And yes, as long as it's been four months since you had a vaccine, you could get the the new one right away. But should you? Right now, there's a lot of COVID going around. The um, emergency rooms, hospitals are filling up. And so it might be a good idea to get it right away. If you've had COVID, because a lot of people have had COVID recently, then you would want to wait at least a couple of months before you get the vaccine. And after you get it, whenever you do? All of these last anywhere from four to six months. So you would want to wait for the flu for the a little bit later in the season when we're going to have a lot see a lot more flu cases. The flu has much more dramatic peaks and valleys than COVID, which comes and goes throughout the year, which is why Miller recommends waiting until October for your flu shot, but not waiting for your COVID shot. And then if you're a healthy person, one a year is probably going to be fine. Older or less healthy people should consider one every six months. You should not get a COVID shot if you're currently sick because it's not going to be effective. So I know sometimes people come in with a cold and they'll be upset that they can't get a vaccine, but we want to give it when it's going to be the most effective for you. COVID shots are not for everybody, not for some immunocompromised people and not for people on certain medications. Bethany Miller asks customers a series of questions to flag those issues. In case your doctor or pharmacist doesn't, be sure to ask them if you're concerned. In the newsroom, Seth Kaplan, ABC 27 News.